Hi students, this is Dr. Soundarya here. I am here to explain you 17 CV 61 Construction Management and Entrepreneurship Module number 3. Topic number 5 is Total Quality Management. Now let us move on to the video. The topic for this video is Total Quality Management. What is Total Quality Management? Total Quality Management is an enhancement to traditional way of business. Earlier, the system was business used to run in families so families inherently knew how to manage the business but nowadays because of the education system and everything people have started taking up different businesses which don't run in their family so how to bring in quality in a place where a person doesn't know how the business runs so to make them understand we have got up a system called as total quality management so total means make up of the whole Quality is the degree of excellence a product or service providers can offer and management is an act, art or manner of handling, controlling and directing. Total quality management is based on the following principles and this is a very important six mark question. So the primary responsibility for any product's quality is going to be with the topmost management and every employee who works in the company will be responsible for achieving a very good product quality. And third most important point is quality should be customer focused and when quality is being evaluated the standards should be customer based or simply saying it should be from the customer's point of view. The production process and the work methods should be designed so that it achieves the quality conformance. Quality cannot be inspected into a product when it is becoming a product. So when we make it itself it should be made it right in the first time. Quality must be monitored to identify problems quickly and correct quality problems immediately. The organization must always strive for continuous improvement. Companies must work with and extend TQM programs to their suppliers also to ensure quality inputs. Only when the inputs are of quality, then the output can also be expected of good quality. The next topic is to whom all TQM is going to help. So from the customer's point of view, customer satisfaction is achieved and continuous improvement for the company is also seen. When an organization adopts TQM, the teaming develops, motivation within the organization develops and a corporate culture also develops. For the employees, it establishes a vision and it also helps in setting standards and goals for the employees. So what are the cultural changes required to meet total quality management? So cultural changes when I say it is from the traditional business point of view to the modern business point of view. So it was initially inspection oriented. Now it should be defect prevention oriented. Initially it was meeting the specification. Now it is based on continuous improvement. Initially it was to just get the product out and make profit. But nowadays it is turned to customer satisfaction. Before it was individual input. Now it is cooperative efforts of everyone working in the company. Initially it was sequential engineering but now it's a team approach. Traditionally quality control department was there but now it is an organization involvement and everyone in the organization will be involved in the total quality management process. Traditionally the department was responsible entirely for quality but now the entire management team is committed for quality of the product. Traditionally, it was just short term objective. A batch of product is produced, it should be sent out. But nowadays, it's like a longer term vision, like continuous improvement. That's why we say continuous improvement because it focuses on long term vision. Traditionally, people were seen as a cost burden. But nowadays, we see people working in the company as human resources and which is seen as an asset. Traditionally, purchase of products or services on price alone basis was done. But nowadays, purchase on total cost minimization basis is done. Traditionally, minimum cost suppliers were chosen. Now what we do is, mutually beneficial supplier relationship is seen. How is total quality management helpful in the construction industry? First and foremost thing is, in the construction industry, if you see, it is a lot different from the manufacturing industry. So introducing total quality management is going to be very difficult. 
The construction industry has problems like workmanship, defects, time overrun and cost overrun also. So bringing in TQM inside is going to be a very big problem. Poor or non-existent quality control and quality assurance procedures can allow costly errors to go undetected in the design stage and in the contract document stage. That is why it is very very important to introduce TQM for the construction industry. So we are going to see in the next few slides how this is implemented in the construction industry. Evolution of TQM has happened as shown in the figure. For a better understanding, I would suggest you to watch module number 3, topic number 1 of the current series. So the first stage of TQM is inspection, then comes the quality control, the third stage is the quality assurance and finally it is going to be total quality management. ISO in construction industry in order to develop formal quality management systems in construction industry, quality assurance and related services are registered with certified bodies. The construction companies seek third party certification based on the ISO 9000 quality standards. Among the ISO standards, the most relevant quality management system to be implemented in the case of a building professional is the ISO 9001. For contracting organization, ISO 9002 is more relevant. Other than this, ISO 9000 can be implemented in any type of company. Understanding ISO standards. ISO 9000 gives the guidance to select and use the quality management and quality assurance standards. ISO 9001 helps in specifying quality assurance in different production stages. ISO 9002, it deals with the production and installation stage. ISO 9003, it deals with the quality assurance in the final stage. ISO 9004, it deals with the quality management and quality system elements. The ISO 9000 standard helps in documenting quality procedures by providing accepted accounting principles. Generally, the certification is given for three quality standards for a construction organization. Certification to ISO 9000, it applies for actually all types of organization and it helps in both product and service. Certification to ISO 9001, this certificate is provided for companies who carry out design activities as their major business operation. These companies carry out the design, development, production, installation and the final servicing of their buildings. Certification to ISO 9002, these are provided for companies that does not carry out design activities. This include production and installation alone. There are 20 different areas a company have to focus and pass in order to get certified as an ISO 9000 certified company. The eight quality management principles as per ISO 9000 are as follows. It's a very important eight mark question. Number one, customer focus. Number two, leadership. Number three, involvement of people. Number four, process approach. Number five, system approach to management. Number six, continual improvement. Number seven, factual approach to a decision. Number eight, mutually beneficial supplier relationships. How to implement ISO 9000 standards? The following is the approach to implement ISO 9000. Initially, select an appropriate quality system model. Number two, conduct status review against the standard of where your company stands as per the basis of the standards of ISO 9000 that must be reviewed here. Number three, develop quality system as per standard. So based on the standard, what best you can do in your company must be developed and written down in documents. Number four, implement quality system in line with the standards. Once it is written down as documents, it should be trained to the people who are working along with the documents and those people must implement whatever is written down in the document or developed in the documents in their quality system. Number five is apply for registration with the certification body. Please note, this can be done only when already the company is complying with all the standards specified in ISO 9000. Then only they can go for registration saying, see we are doing all these things, so hence we want to get registered. Number six is get the quality system verified by the certification body and then get certified by the certification body. So certification comes as the last stage. So initially itself you will have to implement your quality system into place. What are the benefits of ISO 9000? It's a very important six mark question. It improves customer satisfaction and confidence. Management's confidence also increase. Staff performance is improved. Effectiveness and utilization of the staff is improved. 
Efficient utilization of time, money and resources can be seen. Quality improves. Higher productivity and profitability is seen. Consistency in products is achieved. Global market access is, is given by this ISO standards. Organizations become system dependent and not people dependent. And organizations get list globally. Continuous improvement of the organization is also achieved because of ISO 9000 certification. So what are the benefits of ISO 9001? The management becomes responsible. Quality system is put into place. The contracts are reviewed properly. Control of design is done. Control of the documents is also done. Purchasing is done properly. Purchaser supplied, supplied by the, the product supplied by the purchaser is also verified in the purchasing stage itself. Identification of product and, the, and its traceability. Process control. Inspection and testing. Inspection measurement and equipment testing. Status of inspection and the test. Control of products that are non-conforming. Corrective action for the non-conforming products, handling, storing, packaging and the delivery of the products, quality records are kept, internal quality system auditing is being done and training is being given for the service people and servicing and then finally statistical techniques are applied. So these are the benefits of ISO 9001. Hope you understood the basics of total quality management. Thank you for watching the video.